Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome to The Prey Let's Play. <laughs> it rhymed! I made a funny right off the bat. You guys, this game is crazy. This game is crazy! guys there's multiple ways you can break out of this joint break out I went through you can go through the aquarium Good. you're in the simulation lab now get to the exit I'll keep in contact all right so here's the deal you guys so I did a video already when the demo came out and I showed and talked about the backstory of this game and I'm going to zip through this first part and pick up basically right where I left off. And we're going to get really like right into the game early. So <laughs> this is a strange, strange thing. And this game is crazy difficult, right? It's pretty difficult. The, uh, the different things, there's going to be a lot of checking of computers and emails. Um, and wake up call arrival. Okay. So basically we're on a space station, Talos 1, and <laughs> they're doing some crazy experiments here. And I'm a doctor, apparently, but my brother, the family, it's a family business, they've been doing some experience, experiments on me, and they have gone awry. Things have not worked out. And the space station is now being taken over by, let's call them aliens, typhons. I think they're called Typhons. And you're going to see, you may see one fairly soon here. Up. Oh. Here we go. Eh. Where do you go? Okay, so these Typhons can mimic. These things right here are called mimics, right? So this is a mimic. And they can mimic items in the game. Pizza boxes, boxes, lamps, chairs, anything. They can mimic anything. So that is pretty scary. You're going to get some jump scares going on and some freaky music. But this game, I've, I was able to play like about a, an hour, a couple hours worth just to kind of get a feel for the game. And there's a lot of weapons. There's a lot of different ways to play the game. There is... A lot of devices and stuff that we can use to try and figure out better ways to fight these these evil aliens. Bad install. So this is really telling us about that they were doing testing and the testing was on me and things went bad. And now we're going to have to. I know what the save code is. I think I think I know what it is. I think it's the code for crazy. 5150. Okay, so hypo. 600 exotic material. Okay, poly shield. So I go through this as we go along, but we've got suit upgrades. We've got uh, like psy, psychedelic, psy, psy, you know, using your brain upgrades. Weapons, weapon upgrades, all kinds of crazy stuff. So this first one grants us increased protection against physical damage, which is pretty cool. So we have suit chipsets, scope chipsets, which we don't have a scope yet. Not sure how to get the scope, um, but we're going to see that along the way. It's it's really good game. What I ask you guys to do, number one, hit the like button. Number two, leave me a comment down below. Number three, give the series a chance. Watch at least, say, three episodes before you decide whether it's for you or not for you. Because believe me, this is one of those games that you can really get into. And the wrench. So the wrench, the heffy, twist and loop, 
This is going to be like our main default melee weapon, this wrench here. And I love it. I love it. If you guys ever seen my Bioshock playthroughs, you know that I was, uh, <laughs> I was kind of a wrench dude. Look at this. Super secret entrance. Super secret entrance into my apartment. It's where they brought things in and out. So, yeah, well, if you want to know the backstory of it, it tells just a little bit. I mean, we learn, we're going to learn along the way here about what's going on. All's, all you need to know is basically that they were doing tests on us and we were lied to about them, even though that we were a part of creating some stuff. We created some stuff ourselves. So this is all like the simulation area where I thought I was actually, you know, in a in a high rise building doing work. And it's it's the guy's brother. It's my brother in the game who kind of led us astray. So a lot of things to read along the way. Um, most important are the sticky notes and the computers, the emails and different utilities on here. Scene switching in progress. So this was the testing I did. You would see that in the first video. There's one email. Two utilities. Scene selection. Rooftop entry. Just shows you different stuff here. One email. See, Alex U is my brother, I believe. Uh, it talks about, you can pause here if you want to read that. It's an incident that happened. Oh, look at blue screen of death. It's an incident that happened, and yeah, the doctor kind of got eaten by these guys, the mimics. So this is where it shows you. See, it turned into a chair. Alright. So we have uh, health and suit health. So the suit will help a little bit, but both can get degraded, and there's different upgrades that you have to do to maintain that. Okay, let's note about this one. So I'm Morgan. See, Alex U and Morgan U. They were trying to test these different neuro mods, mind altering things that they've got from the aliens on me. And things went wrong. I wasn't actually getting all of the, the real tests and we'll find some of this stuff out as, as we go. But we're about to break out, like, get right into this thing. This is kind of all part of the prologue here. Get you out. As soon as you enter the main lobby, that's when... It's no joke, I'm telling you. I played, I played it, and, like, I was getting my butt kicked by these guys. You really got to work toward... Um, this is going to... This is the big thing here, is when we... It, when it shows you... I'll show you when it pops up, but we've got some stuff that we've got to do suit wise and health wise weapon upgrade wise and as well as our abilities oh, mimic uh. we gotta right away get ne necro necro necrops <laughs> i'm terrible at saying that word we gotta get that quick because it allows us to collect more from those from those mimics and we need that stuff we need all this good stuff is that another one? I just hit him for 22. Did you see that? Is he still alive? I hit him for 22. Necropathy. I can't say that darn word. Whatever. We have to get that pretty quick. I think that'll be early on. All right, let's get a move on, you guys. I'm so excited for this playthrough because it's it's got uh it's got twists on System Shock, Bioshock, Dishonored. It's got kind of a horror aspect to it. It's got some jump scare aspect to it. Not that they're going to pop up in your face, but it's like this. You know, it's like all of a sudden you might be looking at a chair and something pops out at you. Stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Just a little bit. So right now we're just collecting everything we can. We want them to guide us through to where we need to go. We gotta watch out because any of this stuff could be, could be a mimic. Emails. Okay, see how this is marked urgent? So, again, you can 
pause here if you want, but these are some basic things. A note about this morning. That was copied. We saw that in there. So here's urgent. Bellamy's taken data related to the mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card off his cabin, off his body, blah, blah, blah. So that's our first thing. Corpse vanishes. Urgent. Remote manipulation. I found that you, it, the story really unfolds on itself as you go along. You can't... It's not that you're going to just figure it all out from the beginning. That's why it's not really important for you to 100% understand, understand what's going on right now. You just need to know that the story will unfold. You're going to find out what's going on and what we need to do to solve it. Okay, so there's so these little bypasses, it's got an area you can bypass things. Just want to double check everything, make sure that we're not going to miss anything a delicious. Okay, so find a key card for there. I played this in the first or we can go up through there. Now, the water things actually will give you one point of health. So if you're really, really hurt and you have to wait for it to run its course, you see we're at 93 right now. As soon as it tells it, then we go to 94. So it takes a while, but if you're, if you're hurt for certain, reorder tests, flammability tests canceled indefinitely. I wonder if somebody got caught on fire. You gotta watch these things, they might be in here. Oh, there's, it's that chair. Yeah, how do you like that, son? How do you like that, son? Three emails. Drift results, daily tests. Have my people been coming to... Yeah, that was the old beast mode swing right there. Right. Getting some stuff collected up. You know, the thing about it is you really you really can't rush, like super rush through things. We got to be careful about our inventory, too. As we ex upgrade our suit, it will upgrade our inventory space, which is a must because there's so much stuff that you have to collect to build and, and do things that that is... I find that it's pretty good as far as how the balance goes. So you can go through that door, which is open now. There's also a way to go up here, which in the game, we're gonna hopefully be able to find these super secret passageways when I don't know where the key cards are. Type in Anthropantasmus. Keep moving. Okay, so this is the guy he's talking about here. So we got the mimics. We got the mimics, and there was a typhon in here. Where did he go? Like, he needs some serious weaponry to get these fools. Skill recorder analysis. That's not available yet. Tutorial. So these are, we can repair, once we get the ability to repair objects, we can repair this stuff. It's a control panel. Probably a control panel for this elevator, I would imagine. There's a mimic right there. And we're gonna get our first slash weapon of the game. It's the glue gun. All right, here we go. So the glue cannon Jellifoam lattice organism obstructor disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them, so it does new damage. It can also put out flames and stop electric arcs when the glue hardens. You can also make um, climbable platforms with it, like like that is. See that? Right up to that guy. Walk up here. This guy was obviously trying to get away from something. That's why he's up here. Oh, look at them all. Morgan, there, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the 
display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. There's three of them right there. Um, so we do have some food we could eat. We have three health kits, three of the Psy kits, and some food at the bottom. That's what those are there. Everything you know is about to change. This is where we learn not only what they've been doing here, but what we can now use it to our benefit. Okay? There's some stuff in here. So this would require hacking one. I don't know if there's another way to get in there other than now there is stealth in this game very important stealth is a big deal you can stealth buy things without fighting them if you say you're out of ammo you're not ready to fight them there is stealth in the game and i think we're gonna have to use that to our benefit Okay, so neural mods and abilities. The neural mods are revolutionary trans star invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press N to open your transcribe and navigate the neural mods section. All right. So here we go. I talked about this in the other video a little bit, so we'll go over it just a bit. There is, you, I don't know if you can see, but there's three more sections here that aren't appearing yet. So I'm curious to see what those are going to be as we go along. We've got scientist, engineer, and security. Within scientists, we've got some health, uh, metabolic boost. That's what we need right there. So we have to buy physician one and then get four more of these neuromods to get that. And what that's going to do is give us more uh, organs off the Typhons, right? We can collect more organs and then make better stuff. And we've got hacking. You got hacking all the way up. Under engineer, we've got the ability to lift heavier objects, uh, repair stuff, upgrade weapons, upgrade suits, uh, dismantle stuff and use the parts. Materials expert, so increase the uh, yield on recycling. That's a good one early on, right? Lab tech, so this is also like upgrading special weapons. Then we've got our impact calibration, which reduces stamina when we use a wrench, increases wrench damage, and also has a 25% chance of doing bonus damage. And then security, better with weapons, uh, toughness, increases your health, conditioning for stamina, stamina and mobility, combat focus, stealth, here's the stealth as well as sneak attack stuff. So you can see there is a lot of stuff to do and it's very expensive. I think, I'm trying to decide what we want to use first. So if we go in here, we want to get to this pretty quick. If So that means we have to have this. This increases the effectiveness of our med kits. Now, if I do hacking one, I might be able to get into that booth over there. I didn't see any other way in right now. All right, I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to start with this one because we're going to work toward that one as well. So that's going to show us what we do to use the neuro mod. You put your eyeball in there, look at it, and that thing pokes you. Oh man, it pokes you right in the eye, dude. Oh, it doesn't that just hurt just thinking about it? Oh, Good geez. thinking. You'll be ready for a medical emergency. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Got a second floor up here. Favorites wheel. So the favorites wheel is uh middle mouse for me i'm playing this on pc so we'll have our favorites here as well as being able to then use either medical this refill the sigh or eat some food there's a second floor up here now i imagine you're gonna have to be coming back and forth right once you get some unlocks in here um but what we can do is do this walk right up this wall here Imagine. There we 
we go. Welcome volunteers. So this is not open. Got a dude right here. Disruptor stun gun. Disruptor stun... Whoa. Disruptor stun gun will knock out human targets. Typhon are more resi resi resistant, but can still be temporarily stunned. Robotic devices can also be temporarily disabled and ultimately destroyed by this disruptor. Okay, so I would imagine... I don't know if we're going to be facing any human targets, but... It sounds good for uh, robots. Access panel back here. So I can't get in there without leverage two to get this thing out of the way here. Interesting. Okay. So we're definitely going to have to come back to this area. What is this called? Volunteers. Welcome volunteers, it said. Volunteers quarters. Right. Just looking around. This is super duper creepy. Fabrication. All right. Some spare parts. So this leverage thing actually might might come in kind of handy. All right. So that's yeah. That's what that that's how you get up there if that thing's actually working but it's not working right now now i think i actually went into this oh that's a weapon upgrade kit right there no way to break in there i don't see so once we get once we get hacking one we'll go into there but for now it wants us to actually move on out of this area It sounds like you're peeing. <laughs> okay, L. Robert and Alice, thank God. No one else is... Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I can't... Jesus, you're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's... What the hell is security? I don't know yeah. what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. I think we'll, we'll, when we come back to this area, we'll search those bathrooms and stuff. I would like to get along the way. Now, this is it. We are going into the main lobby. This is like the hub. And it, what you'll see is some of these computers will unlock a map per level. And they start, you can drive through the main missions of the game. We can also drive through some side missions, which are very important because you'll actually get... Yes. Here it is. Wow. So he thought he was in a, a city in a building. Now it turns out that he's not. He's actually in a space station in space. Hence the reason why there's aliens. So that's where we were was actually the Neuromod Division, so we're definitely going to want to go back in there. Human resources. Oh, man. I have just bad, bad feelings about who is down here and what is waiting for us. <laughs> the music just lets you know that bad things are going to happen. To get into sneak mode. Careful. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Okay. So tell us one lobby is open for you to explore. You can reach other parts, different space station, bulkhead doors. You can return to the lobby and other areas you discovered. Like this is the hub. If you look, look up. This is like the hub. All right. So I'm not going to search it right now. I'm going to push over to try and get to where we need to go. Hopefully without dying. 
Because there's a lot of fools in here. I know there is. Let's see how much inventory space. We're filling up pretty good. There's a newer mod over there, but I'm Attention. pretty sure. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Oh, shoot. There's a turret over there. Thank goodness for that turret, dude. All right, turret, you you can do work for me, brother. You can do you can do work. Right now I'm being extra cautious, right? Because I don't have really any anything but this melee tool. Shoot, there's a few of them here. That's right, there's a few here. Turret, do work. Do work, turret! Nice. This this thing blew up and took half my health. Oh jeez. Again, we're gonna have like we're gonna have a lot of time to look around here, so I'm just trying to get through this. This is a bag of veggies, so I'm just trying to get some of that stuff out of the way. So we have a security place over here. We need to get up there where this video file is, but there's a security place here. I'm pretty sure there's a super bad dude over there. Don't wanna go in there right now. Uh, door's locked. Up. Oh. Alright, we got a place to go. So the cool thing about this game that I love is that there are alternate paths around things. You know, you don't always have to find the code. You can find alternate routes. Now, there's not always alternate routes, but it makes you look like there is. You know, you, you're always looking for them. Chiss. What do we got here? What? What? Shotgun for days. Okay. We got ourselves a shotgun. Shotgun! Oh my god. <laughs> Scary. Alright. There's a note. Being held, he knew the door code, so I changed it to 1129. So see, these little notes will tell you what codes are around the way, around. So you kind of have to look at, look for the post-it notes, big time. Need security escort. Yeah. Oh, this is a long one. Missing key card. Sir, I need help tracking down the missing key card. Highest priorities. It's labeled EP 101. All right. So there's a security safe there. Uh, is this where we? Oh, all right. That's the key. Eleven twenty nine. Let's see. Hold on. Yep, I remembered it. Shotgun shell fabrication. Rechar recycler charge. When detonated, the recycler charge breaks down molecular structures of nearby objects into recyclable material. Your uniform offers some degree of protection, but it's not fail-safe. Staying too close can prove hazardous. So these kind of will tear things. A null wave transmitter developed in psychotronics the null wave transmitter emits a burst of signals which suppress psionic abilities anyone caught in the black so that's the other part is psionic abilities oh jeez. and we got an emp charge i think everybody knows what an emp charge is so 
I want my shotgun on number two and my glue gun on number three. That'll be fine. One utility here. Area map, there we go. So you wanna look in, if you see the area map, gotta get those, it's gonna help us out. Kinda shows us what's going on here. All right. And then it's showing, hey, someone is alive in the cargo bay, but I don't think we're anywhere near the cargo bay. Tell us one lobby. So we can look for people, emails. Help, 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 <laughs> help, help. We're trapped in the shuttle bay. Morgan U's office keypad. That's me, Morgan U. All right. Character name, Captain Stabfellow. <laughs> I like that. There's the door. We just overrode the door to get in here. But we want to go check over here. 1129. a mimic. Okay. Shotgun. Stolen neuromods. Find Yuri's neuromods. Okay. Let's uh take a quick look at that. So that would be data. Uh, notes. Maybe it's under, it's under stolen neuromod. I discovered that Yuri Kimunura, one of Transtar's neuromod installers, has off the books neuromods in her office in the lobby. I should recover them. Oh, ho, ho. that's going to be someplace we go fairly quick because we want to get some of them bad boys. But right now, let's get up to see if we can complete this first thing. We got to go upstairs to my office. Right? My office. All right, we're going sneak mode again. Sneaky. We got a shotgun. We got a shotgun already, so that's good. What did I... That's got to be one, right? Ugh. Nope. I just got a cigar out of it, though. All right, I'm going to eat something just... So I'm eat two things. Let's get that health up a little bit. Oh, shoot! That scared me a little bit, dude. I, you don't expect a trash can to attack you. There's the trauma center. We actually have... We have the... We found that down on the in the lobby. The key card to the trauma center. But we're not going there yet. We're going to our office. Here's something to the right. Teleconferencing center. We got a turret. We got a turret there. Trauma center key card. We already got it downstairs, right? I thought we got a trauma center key card. I was pretty sure. All right, three emails. Volunteer attitude. Oh, we got a key code for vol. Oh, we got a key card for key code for the volunteer quarters. That's where we were down below. Meaning Gustav. Lightner's visit. So just by reading this one, we got a code to get into that that area back where we first started. Definitely want to look in there. Good morning, Talos. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. Apparently, breakfast is served. Take note. Please move these remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromod Division as soon as possible. Okay. Test subjects. See, Alex. Alex, man. He's bad news. Some of these things, you guys, I'm going to pivot through, but you can hit pause. I'll try and leave it there long enough if you want to pa pause it to read those things. Ooh, 
Ooh, banana. Banana! Banana, please! Oh, shoot. Oh, thank goodness for that. Hey, look! OMG Hot Boss. That's me! Wait, Jason Chang. <laughs> Jason! Key code changed. 0451. The good thing about it is when you read it, um, it, the, it'll it show you the code. You don't have to remember it. I was told there would be no remembering during this. See? So, 0451. Jam, this is our office. Your office. So, this is the thing that I find strange. Well, let me listen. Your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Okay. So this is my office. Look how nice. Look how big. It's in the center on the third floor overlooking the lobby, right? Why am I the one getting experimented on? Huh? Yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's the way I look at it. We got a key card. Teleconferencing. That's right across the hall. I got the plan you requested. It's in your safe. Okay. There's some neuro Three neuromods right here, baby. Oh, yeah. Utilities. Watch me, Morgan. All right. These are important. Play. We're going to watch on the giant LG screen. Load it up, baby. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. And your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the type in organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. Wow. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? Yeah. You're not why? gonna like what I have to say next. No! 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 If I thought I found every one of those damn videos, sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. Man, you never think your family's gonna turn on you. Please. Aw, oh, man! I wanted to hear the rest of it. Weapon upgrade kit. Don't have room for it right now, but that's okay. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. Okay. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Roger that. So that's probably our next mission. The next main mission is to get to... Through a glass darkly. New objective. Probably get to that hardware lab, right? Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. Okay. All right, so that's going to do it for this first episode. Again, you guys, now we're basically up to speed. We've got some weapons. We're going to start pushing through... I'm not going to be like explaining because I'm going to be learning as I go now. I've played this in the demo up to this point. I think you got the gist of it. If you want a little bit more background on it, go check out the, the previous video that I did. It's kind of a prologue to this. But I think we're going to have a lot of fun on this. Please leave a like, leave me a comment, and give it a couple of episodes before you guys decide if you don't like it. Because you never know. Things are going to get better. All right. Thanks for watching.